I'm going to race against this Hoover Air X1 self-flying drone and test it in these five running challenges. A 100 meter sprint race, 200 meter intervals with increasing speed, a one kilometer endurance test, a sky run trail race, and the final event, a octathlon. Let's see who wins it. These races will show if this is any good for running videos and tell us more about its active tracking capabilities, speed and pace changing flexibility, battery performance, quality of the camera and overall usability. Make sure you watch the video all the way as I'm going to share some tips and tricks about this camera that you didn't saw in any other YouTube review so far. Here are the rules. We'll have two different runs, 100 meters each. First one in dolly track mode, second one in follow mode. If it manages to keep up, then the Hoover Air 1 wins the point. If I lose it, then I win the point. So we start in dolly track mode. The first one, oh, let's see. Okay, he tracked me. I will go slow just to keep up with me. And then let's go full speed. So you lost me, little guy. In dolly track mode. It starts well, but once you pick up the pace, uh, it has trouble following. So it goes around and continues in follow mode. So I would say he loses the point on dolly track mode. However, in follow mode, he does really well. He keeps up with the speed. So I was running at 3.2 minutes per kilometer. So quite fast for me, uh, but he has no issues with it. So for the moment, it's a tie. One for him, one for me. Let's proceed with the 200 meter speeds. Here are the rules. I'm going to run four continuous intervals of 200 meters each. I start the first one very slow and I will increase the speed each time a new segment starts. The Hoover will track me. Let's see how it copes with the pace change. If it does well, then one point for him. If I lose him, then I win it. We start in the follow mode and then we change the dolly track. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. We start with 530 pace. So quite slow. At this pace, it's easy for him. It follows without any issues. But let's see when we increase the pace a little bit. So this one, the side. Let's go faster.
he managed very well. Good job. He did very well on the follow mod. So now let's see and test it on the dolly track. We will start slow and then accelerate each 200 meters. So we start with the nice five minutes per K pace. Let's see if it manages to turn around at this slow pace. Come on, come on. He already lost me. He's changing into follow mode right now. So he will lose this point, but he earned it the other one. As you can see, he already rose me twice when taking the curve. So in Dolly track is not that reliable at fast speed. He did it well at slow speed, but at fast speed he doesn't manage. But as far as this race goes, it's one point for him for the follow mode and one point for me for the Dolly track. It's getting a little bit warm in here after those sprints. For the next challenge, which is a long endurance one, better without the clothes. Um, I will change the battery to have a brand new one. So this is the battery, quite small. I will change the old one. And the process is really easy to do. You just flip it inside and that's basically it. That's it. And then the old one, I place it inside this two slots charger. And when I go home, I just charge both of them. The rules of this race are quite simple. If the Hoover Air One manages to track me for one kilometer at my full speed, then he wins the point. If he manages to lose me or uh, lose the battery or whatever else, uh, I win the point. Let's see how it goes. Oh man, this is hard stuff. I don't know if I, I will be able to keep up. Challenge completed. He managed to track me for at least one kilometer. Well done, the point goes to Hoover. Let me share with you some quick tips and tricks about this guy. This is very small and compact, while the propellers uh, are well protected by the cage, the gimbal with the camera is a little bit exposed. In the package you receive a protective textile bag to carry it in, but this is not waterproof and it's quite obvious you won't be using this when running or cycling or whatever else. So I bought this protective case, it's hard case, it's waterproof, it fits perfectly. You just uh, stick it in your uh, backpack and it's uh, waterproof and very, very hard. Another really good idea is a waterproof waste bag. This way you can take it easily when you go running or doing any other outdoor activity. You just stick it inside and it's uh, quite easy to carry. It's perfect for trail running, like the next challenge that we will have. The rules are quite simple. I will run to the top of one hill and back. If he manages to track me all the way and complete the task, then he wins one point. If he loses the battery or if he loses me, then I win the point.
now before starting the fifth final race if you think about purchasing the hoover air x1 check out the affiliate link in the description and you will get an additional discount on the normal price the rules this one is all about battery endurance and shooting time available i'm going to film a running sequence in all flight modes hoover zoom out follow orbit bird's eye snapshot dolly track and manual if it manages to do it with one full battery, then he wins the challenge. If not, I'm the winner. Here is the final footage of this Octatron event. <laughs> Very important, check out your drone legislation requirements in your country. Even if it's so small, the Hoover Air X1 is still a drone and having a high definition camera, it's still required in many countries to register it. Be careful with it as it is not waterproof. You can use a plastic bag or a hard case to protect it. Even if you use the waste bag that I showed you earlier, be conscious about the sweat you're generating if it's not a waterproof belt then it might damage your drone try to use the preset flying mode without standing still and you might be surprised by the actual results an orbit would look a lot better if you move or the racket one also if you pass through the image use the hover mode for getting lateral shots as it doesn't have lateral tracking flying mode this is a good workaround to film you from the side Okay guys, so let's speak about uh, the results of these tests. I really think that this drone is really well suited for filming running videos. You saw that it's very capable of following you in dolly track or in follow mode. Uh, the presets are really nice. The battery of course is not that big, but if you film short length videos and then you put it all together, then it's perfect. He won the challenges uh, overall, so the score you see it down below. Would I recommend it? For sure, it's very easy to use, you don't need a remote, it's self-flying, you can take it with you in a bag or in a, in a pocket and then whenever you want to film something amazing, you just start it, push the button and it will follow you. Highly recommend it, check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about it. That was all for today, see you on the next adventure, bye bye.